let's take a look 1.1.1 1. 1. 1. 1, um, starts off fairly weak we have x squared minus 3x being equals to 10 well some people will say x squared is equals to 10 or minus 3x is equals to 10 which is totally wrong this is totally wrong yeah you can't do that right you, you cannot do that but we will see x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equals to 0 that's the way to go now we're asking ourselves two factors of minus 10 when we add them we get minus 3 right so let's take a look um minus 5 and plus 2 they work minus 5 multiplied by plus 2 they give you minus 10 and when you add them you get minus 3 so x minus 5 x plus 2 so x is equals to 5 or x is equals to minus 2 if we substitute 5 here the product is 0 if we substitute minus 2 there the product is 0 so there we go that is 1.1.1 and then on the other side 1.1.2 we are supposed to round off to two decimal places so that is quadratic right so we can just skip that and do 1.1.3 i don't think anyone is actually interested in watching quadratic you know we just substitute in the equation and we are good to go but what about 1.1.3 a lot of people they make mistakes with these kind of equations i once did a couple of years back but let's take a look at it the square root of 4x minus 3 so we have 4x minus 3 and this is all equals to 2x minus 3 obviously uh, the most obvious move here is to square both sides so let's go ahead and do that so if we square both sides on the left hand side we're gonna have 4x minus 3 and on the head on the right hand side we're gonna have 2x minus 3 multiplied by 2x minus 3 so 2x multiplied by 2x that is 4x squared and then 2x multiplied by minus 3 is minus 6x. You multiply that by 2 and you get a minus 12x. And then minus 3 multiplied by minus 3, that is plus 9. So we're going to have 4x squared and then minus 12x minus 4x, that is minus 16x. And then plus 9 plus 3, that is plus 12. Everything is equal to 0. So obviously we can take a common factor of 4 here and divide both sides by 4. So if we do that, we get x squared minus 4x plus 3 is equals to 0. I think we can easily factorize this. Let's go ahead and do that. When I have x, x minus 3 minus 1, right? Minus 3 multiplied by minus 1 is plus 3. But minus 3 plus minus 1 is minus 4. x is equals to 3 or x is equals to 1. One of these answers is not correct most of the time. We need to test out and see which one is not correct between these two answers. It's just a matter of substituting 3 and 1 back into the original equation. Okay, we started with square root of 4x minus 3 and 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3. So we want to substitute 3 and 1 into this um, equation. If we substitute 3 on the left hand side, we're going to have 4 multiplied by 3, which is 12, minus 3 is 9. So we have square root of 9 gives us 3. And then 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, minus 3 gives us 3. So 3 is fine, it works. When you substitute 3, we don't have any issues. Now let's substitute 1. Uh, when you substitute 1 on the left hand side, we're going to have 4 multiplied by 1, 4 minus 3, square root of 1, being equals to. 2 multiplied by 1 minus 3 so we get 1 is equal to minus 1 which is not correct so x is not equal to 1 in this case right um there we go let's move ahead and i duplicated that instead of deleting it but it's fine uh let me get rid of this so that we can move to 1.1.4 so 1.1.4 we are supposed to solve for x for that inequality. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 3 being less than 0. So I want to find my critical values. So I let x squared minus 2x minus 3 be equal to 0. And then I factorize. Here I'm going to get x minus 3 
x plus 1. So x is equal to 3 or x is equal to minus 1. Okay, now I have that, I have my critical values. Let's take a look at that graph. That graph, if you were to sketch it, it would look like this, right? And then we have our intercepts somewhere here at minus at minus one and three. And now the question we're asking ourselves, where is this graph less than zero? Uh, that graph is less than zero here uh, between minus one and three. So the solution x lies between minus one and three. That is why it is less than zero. Well, this is another method you can use. There's also another method that I usually use. If you watch you know my other videos you will know exactly what i'm talking about but these can also work okay let's take a look at 1.1.5 suppose to solve for x the mark location is 5 so uh, let's see 10 to the 2x is equal to 5 divided by 2 to the minus 2x plus 120 uh, 120 is not in brackets, so let me write it like this 120 4 to the minus x minus 1. Okay, um, as I'm taking a look at this, I have 2, I have 5, and then 10. I can write 10 in terms of 2 and 5, right? 2 multiplied by 5 is 10, and then I have 4. I can write 4 in terms of 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4. Um, 120, 5 multiplied by 5 is 125, and then 125 multiplied by 5, um, not 125 multiplied by 5, but 25. 225 is 50, 250 is 100, and then we get 125. So I don't think uh, it would be wise to write 125 in terms of 5. So let's just leave 125 as it is for the time being. If we can't move any further, then we will change it and write it in terms of 2 and 5. But let's carry on and see. So on the left hand side, I'm going to write 10 to the power 2x instead as 2 multiplied by 5, everything to the 2x being equals to 5. Uh, let me change, instead of having that 2 to the minus 2x as a denominator, I will multiply it, I will multiply 5 by that instead. And when we do that, uh, the minus sign becomes positive. If um, it was positive, it was going to become minus. It just changes sign. So we're going to have 5 multiplied by 2x plus 120. Like I'm saying, instead of having... Okay, first of all, we can multiply minus x and minus 1 to get um, just x, right? So let's, take, let's say we are 4 to the x because that is equal to 4 to the x. Okay, so we are 4 to the x. Instead of writing it as 4 to the x, Okay, take a look at this. 4 to the x is the same as 2 to the 2, everything to the x, of which we can further simplify this into 2 to the 2x. So here I'm going to have 2 to the 2x. That's what I'm proposing. All right. So on the left hand side, let me go ahead and expand. I'm going to have 2 to the 2x multiplied by 5 to the 2x being equal to 5 multiplied by 2 to the 2x plus 120 multiplied by 2 to the 2x. Too many 2x's. Can I take 2x as a common factor? Yes, I can. On the left-hand side, there's nothing special I can do there, all right? Uh, but on the, on the left-hand side, I mean. And then on the right-hand side, I can take 2 to the 2x as a common factor. I'll be left with 5 plus 120. 5 plus 120 is 125. So we are going to be able to write 125 in terms of 5. Things are starting to come together, right? 2 to the 2x multiplied by 5 to the 2x is equal to 2 to the 2x multiplied by 125. So I say that 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. And 25 multiplied by 5 is 125. So instead of having 125, we have 5 to the 3. Okay, let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these. Um, it is easy to see that we can divide both sides by 2 to the 2x as we have it on the left hand side and on the right hand side. If we do that, we're going to get 5 to the 2x being equal to 5 to the 3 because 2 to the 2x is on both sides. Obviously, same basis, we can equate the exponents. 
2x is equals to 3. x should be 2 over 3. And there we go.